These are cool though, I mean, I, they look great. Damn, those look good. So we were at Hinsdale Nurseries Wholesale Growing Fields. Hey JR, good to see you. And we were tagging trees for the upcoming fall planting season. Hey, are you ready to tag some trees? Gotcha. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. What we like about Hinsdale Nursery is really the quality of the trees. Let's walk down and back. We'll see if we can get two and a half out. And if not, then we'll, we'll add in some twos. We'll walk all the individual rows and physically select the individual specimens that we're going to bring into town. What about that one back there? Species diversity has always been really important to us. Having a diverse urban forest leads to a more stable urban forest. Nice branch unions. Things like Dutch elm disease or emerald ash borer, when they're introduced into the environment, can be devastating. And so by having a larger species diversity, we can limit our exposure potentially to, to some unknown insect or disease. If this one meets size, that'll be a good one. What we're looking for is good structure. We want to make sure that the trunk is clean, doesn't have any large wounds. So that's two. We want to make sure that the tree was planted properly at the nursery. That should be eight. We look at the structure of the crown, make sure that it has a single leader, that the branch pattern looks good within the canopy. Let's take 10. The tree tagging is always one of my favorite parts of the job. You get to go out into the country and walk the fields with somebody and basically just talk shop, talk trees. If they make it, they, they come back. Right, great. That's what I'm talking about. So fall planting, we're looking for a lot of our more common standard trees. We tag a lot of our hybrid elms in the fall, our Kentucky coffee tree, honey locust, catalpa. So what do we got? We got these two rows. When you leave somebody else's select trees, you just never really know what you're getting until it comes on the truck. We can be picky. And at that point, it's really hard to send the trees back because there are so many things in place already for tree planting to happen. That looks like a good one. The best way to make sure that that doesn't happen is to go to your nursery yourself. Yeah, yeah, it looks good.